This latest confrontation between Iraq and the Allies began last month. That's when a U.S. fighter shot down an Iraqi plane in the no-fly zone. The Pentagon today released tapes of that shoot-down. CNN's Carl Rochelle reports. December 27th, two Iraqi MiGs crossed the 32nd parallel in Iraq and turned toward two U.S. Air Force F-16s, codenamed Benji. An AWACS command and control plane confirms the MiGs have crossed the line. Okay, I show up well south of the line, 14 miles. The small airplane pointing toward the bottom of the F-16's computer-enhanced radar screen is the MiG. The large circle is the firing area. The F-16s go to afterburner to pick up speed and close in. Benji burner, 12 miles, 12 miles. The AWACS warns the two MiGs by radio to turn away. When they come within eight miles of the F-16s, Benji leader asks for permission to fire his missiles. Benji say, looking for clearance to fire. Benji 4-1, clear kill, clear kill. The F-16 checks one more time. Is he cleared to fire on the Iraqi MiG? Understand, clear to kill. Clear to kill, clear to kill. He's abandoned, abandoned. Benji, Fox. Fox is Air Force lingo for firing a missile. The tone is a signal to the pilot that the missile has been fired and is on its way to the target. Here is what an AMRAAM air-to-air -air missile looks like when it's fired. It is supersonic. In the December incident, seconds after the missile was fired, Benji leader and his wingman, Benji 2, confirmed the kill. Benji, Splash 1, Splash 1. Copy Splash 1. Splash 1 is the Air Force term for a shootdown. The Air Force says this was the first time the half-million-dollar a copy AMRAAM missile had been fired in combat. It was also the first air-to-air -air combat for the U.S. Air Force F-16, which only saw bombing missions in Operation Desert Storm, a record which could change quickly if the U.S. goes back into action against Iraq. Carl Rochelle, CNN, the Pentagon.